Hello, is Bini here? Thanks a lot for joining the session. Let me just um, get ready the session. Get, get started. How are you? Have you had your dinner yet? If you like to um, interact with me in the chat box, I think uh, that you would need to uh, subscribe to the channel. So if you can, do subscribe to the channel because I think there's many good content that I have. You know, So do subscribe so that I can answer your question. All right, thank you. I'm going to start this session and, uh, and uh, to introduce about alien wash theology. So I know that you have uh, some questions already. So I'm here to answer them, but as well as to present what um, I'm going to talk about today. Okay. Uh, so now it's 8 p.m. in Singapore time, and uh, I probably think that the session would end about 9.30 if, if uh, you know, we don't have a lot of questions. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to give you a good introduction into what, uh, what is about the course, what is about the strategy. Uh, although there are certain fine things I can't talk about because it requires me um, to talk about for a long duration of time. Okay, so things like exactly how we execute the trade, where's our entry, where's our exit, where's our stop loss, etc. I think that that requires a lot of explanation. All right, so I'm, I'm just trying to uh, do as much as possible to let you know how uh, we trade um, as well as how the uh, offering here is going to help you. Okay. All right, um, so as a disclaimer, just to let you know that uh, this is not financial advice. Uh, I'm not qualified to give you any financial advice. All right, okay, a bit of an introduction. Some of you might have uh, heard my session, uh, maybe you read about my interviews in the newspaper or sometimes in the uh, TV, on the TV. Uh, I'm um, training for SGX, so I'm an SGX Academy trainer. Uh, I'm doing a lot of training sessions for the corporate. So either they are the banks or the private trading houses or the brokers or um, even the retail market. Okay, so that's basically what I'm doing. Apart from uh, training, right? A lot of people don't know. Actually, the other side of, of my work is to do a lot of um, development, software, uh, strategy development and uh, strategies for myself, for my clients, or as a team. Okay, so that's the other part of my work. I don't write quotes because I think that there's a lot more people who can write better than me. So I'm the one who is behind the design and the test of a lot of trading systems. Okay, so that's being deployed uh, professionally. All right, um, and the other side is to trade. A trade and invest. So I have quite a wide range of instruments. If you heard um, my market outlook on Sunday, uh, Sunday, Saturday, yeah, last Saturday, right? Uh, I talk about things like stocks, interest rate, forex, um, you know, commodities, you know, metals, etc. Because uh, that's really my expertise, uh, not only on one instrument, but uh, multi assets and also how. Um, the intermarket re relates. Although in terms of positioning, um, people always know me as uh, trading into the forex. But in fact, that I do quite a variety of instruments. For SGX, I'm actually doing the stocks. Okay, so for for the other side, I'm actually doing the futures. So there's many many different instruments that I'm doing. All right, okay. Um, just just to let you know my trading profile because I think this is very important. Right, because um, the type of trading profile that I have is probably going to um, you know, impact a lot on the strategy and also on personally how we can use the system. Okay? Uh, so I'm not those traders who go in and go out. Neither am I those traders who hold on the position for a long time. I'm talking about trading because I have the other part, which is actually investment. All right? So invest and building a portfolio is different from trading. So I'm talking particularly on trading, right? So the predominant market that I'm trading in would be the stock market, all right? Uh, I do the faster market, which is the Hong Kong uh, market, 
Okay, for Singapore market, yes, I still do that, but it's more like um a longer perspective, especially on the reads. Uh, for the U.S. market, a lot of you would know that I'm sleeping. Okay, so I step at quite early, even if I don't. But I just don't wish to look uh, too late into the market. Okay, so yes, I'm doing the U.S. market, uh, mostly on selling of options and um, you know either to hold the stocks. But I'm not aggressively talking about it. But if my students ask me, I'll be able to answer you. That's not an issue. Okay, but in between. Um, the afternoon session, so that would be around this time here, uh, is usually the FX or the index or the commodities like um, you know, oil or gold, all right? And these are the main instruments that I'm doing. Okay, so that's the trading. Uh, some of you might ask, how am I going to do so many instruments? And that's because of automations. And this is something I like to encourage all of you to consider or to do. Okay, you might. The resistance to technology change, technology change, right? But um, I think that techno technology is uh, part and parcel of our lives, right? For example, uh, today I want to replace my windows. So instead of calling, you know, the thing is uh, WhatsApp, take a photo, give me the quote, and that's it. I don't even need to call anymore, right? Or I want to buy something. No longer am I going to the uh, shopping center to buy, you know, um, just take out the phone and then choose something that I like. Even my mother buys it this way. She doesn't even look need to look at the pots or pens that she's, she's going to buy. Okay, so there's a change in our lifestyle already. So a lot of my trades, either they are partial automated or if not, they are fully 100% automated. Okay, all right. Now, so today's content, I, I want to just put it bluntly. Right, it's really more of a preview, okay. Um, so I know that a lot of my assisting students are here. So do, uh, uh, uh do know that it's a preview, all right. But if you can, then share your experience with, uh, with with the rest of the people. Hopefully that you know I can convert them because a lot of students said, hey, look, Bini, you don't sell your course, right? Um, you just present as it is and you don't go and sell. But I, I think that either you like it or you don't like it. You find it suitable or you, you don't find it suitable. Okay. Uh, but I sincerely hope that you attend the course because I think that there's a lot more uh, value here. Even though you might say that, hey, look, the course you are doing predominantly on Forex. You are doing on indexes. I'm doing on stocks. But do you realize that the market is interlinked? There's no such thing called it is Forex. It is um, index okay, or it is commodity. You trade basically whichever instrument that can make you the money easiest, fastest, isn't it? All right. So do expose yourself because it's not only the stock market out there. Okay, I'm doing the stocks as well. So I have REITs, I have Hong Kong stocks, I have US stocks. I don't reject the fact that there can be more money to be made from any other instruments. Okay, neither my community. So when stocks is good, we talk about stocks. Like uh, last... Uh, year, October, all right, I was talking about uh, REITs. And then last year in November, December, we were talking, or rather November, we were talking about uh, entering into the Hong Kong stocks and the Chinese stock market. All right, so these are the things that um, I hope that you are open-minded to look at it. All right, so first thing I want to talk about Wash and Rinse, what Wash and Rinse is about, and then um, live with Wash and Rinse, okay? Um, in fact, I've recorded a video that I did just now on the trade that I did, all right? So to show you how trading is about um, with our methodology and our tools, um, and, and I think that it's, it's going to be very relevant, all right? If you do have questions, you ask me. And lastly, about um, how to get the, the cost fee refunded, all right? So it's not a gimmick. So the cost fee, as you know, if you go and see from my website, is $700, SING dollar SGD. And you get the full amount refunded. Okay. Uh, is there any terms and con condition? Of course, yes. Is it difficult to meet that requirement? The answer is no. All right. I'm gonna show you exactly how can how to do it in just a few minutes. Okay. To get that, um, to fulfill that condition. Okay. All right. Um, is there any upselling? I would say strongly. The answer is no because I think that a lot of people know that I don't upsell. Okay, so $700 is really what you pay. And if you don't like, then you stop. But if you would like to continue, then you pay for the subscription of, of my services.
Okay, so let's talk about wash and rinse. Yeah. Okay, so this is a chart that happened last week, right? So if you had used the free trial, the indicator that I've given you for the free trial for one month, all right, uh, you will see the same arrows being drawn. Okay, what do I mean by arrows? Huh? You will see, for example, this particular green color thing here, and then this is the green color arrow here. Um, the red color arrow, all of these are all being drawn on the chart. If you put it into US 500, which is essentially uh, S&P 500. Okay, so this is the uh, index, all right, which is like a contract for difference, CFD of the S&P 500. So this signal here, this arrow here, right, show you, right, you wash and rinse, okay, at the end of the day, that means that there was a buy entry for us. So anything that is green in color, because I like the color code, right? So anything that's green in color would be buy, okay? Which is a bullish signal, positive signal, okay? Now anything that's coded in red, this one is in red, right? And this is in red, red thick, huh? Or arrow, it doesn't really matter. Just note the color will do, all right? That would be a bearish signal, okay? So this is being drawn here so that visually it becomes very impactful to let you know there was a wash and rinse. okay so thanks a lot for uh, all of you guys to join this session uh, again if you like to uh, uh, you know message into the chat box you will need to subscribe to the channel if i'm not wrong because i i didn't do the setting so i'm not sure what's the setting but i suspect that you might need to um you know uh, subscribe to the channel okay all right, now, uh, so we had um, a buy signal. That means that a bullish signal, right, on S&P 500, right, about um, last week when this particular uh, green color arrow happened. So the buy was around here at the end of the bar. All right, so this is a typical wash and rinse. Now, this bar here, okay, we call it wash. And then this bar here, we call it rinse. Okay, so let me just explain uh, what wash and rinse is all about. Okay, before that, let me just ask you a question, all right? So this is a, a chart, okay? So this is a chart, right? So let me just ask you, um, and I hope for your answer, okay? Let me just ask, at this point here where the green arrow is pointed, so let me just show that, this, this point here, right? So this green arrow here, so this is the green arrow, and then this one is the candle, okay? So the end of the candle. When you see this, green candle okay when you see this green candle here all right what would you do are you more likely to buy or are you more likely to sell waiting for your response okay now while waiting for your response few things number one is that um if you apply a typical technical analysis right and you will say hey look um there was a previous support here so that's a support right and then at here Okay, likely I'm going to see a support because um, there is a, uh, you know, hammer lookalike candle here. Okay, and, a, and the next um, place is actually a buy uh, confirmation. Okay, and at this place where you, you probably see a support, you see a support, right? You also saw a resistance, okay, a resistance, and it's in fact a resistance turned into a support. Okay, so that's more like... Uh, you have a very strong price level and then you see a support and you see a typical candlestick pattern and that's price action. So a lot of people would, would actually be looking for a buy. Okay. Um, I see a lot of responses from you guys. Okay. Especially um, um, with the answer, which is buy. Okay. Well, uh, yes, this is the typical uh, answer. But have you ever wondered, all right, since... Since past 20 years or 30 years ago, things have sort of changed, all right, with technology. Um, it's everyone, all right, seems to have access to phone, okay, except for my uh, very young nephew, which is uh, six months old. He doesn't have access to phone, but those who are like three years old, four years old, they have access to phone already, okay. So technology is there. So if you are looking at technology being there, then have you wondered that 
since everybody knows something about charting, everybody can become a TA expert. Everybody can go and run a course in YouTube, all right, or to sell a course in Teachable. So isn't it true also that all these signals, which are generic, okay, which are generic, are very easy to be fake. Okay, so that's my pro proposition here. That means that when something that becomes very, very obvious, right, isn't it easy to fake a movement or to make sure that the prices happen a while and then after that they would uh, fade a particular move. All right. Okay, so what, what happened to this trade eventually? Let me just show you the outcome. Okay, now eventually what happened at the place where I mark in a cross? Let me just get the thing here. See, I mark in a cross. Now, was the place that I showed you? That means that was the place that I showed you with a support? Okay, and a resistance and the resistance here. In fact, it went up a little bit. All right, and what happened? It actually came back down a lot more, all right? Now, hit into the next level of a support here. So, this was the next level of a support. So, this one here, okay? So, into the next level of support. And then after that, goes back up like nothing ever happened. So, the true move came, huh? the true move came after the first wave of the people who were who bought in here okay all right then after that what happened these people who bought in here had the stop loss right at around here okay when they see this particular red color candle happening once they thought that perhaps let me just hang on a little bit all right and then they wait for this candle to happen a little bit right and then when price came down and kept pushing down 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 they can't stand it anymore those people who bought in at the first wave, which is here, right? Okay, they get stopped out. Okay, they, they lost the money, they get stopped out. Okay, now in fact that if you look back and you track back, huh, you can find every and any one excuse to say that, hey, look, the market was looking at a stronger support around here. But in fact, those people who bought in at a typical technical signal, which is a typical price action, all right, they were being washed, okay? So here, we call them being washed, all right? Then the other side, when it goes back up, like this one here, we call this a rinse, okay? So this is a very typical movement because when price really had a true move, okay, it's only after some people, all right, were killed. Okay, so that is the hard facts of the market. In fact, the reality right now. Okay, so we call this a wash and rinse. Now, have you ever experienced before where, for example, you put in a trade, let's say you bought a trade, right? And the next moment, what happened? It kept going against you. It kept coming down. All right. Now, after, after it keeps going down and then you say, okay, never mind. Let me just wait. And for one day, you waited for the second day and the third day, but keep on moving moving down right against you and finally you decided okay let me just cut lost okay the moment that you cut your loss it just turned the other side and move to your original position move into profit and move so much into profit but too bad you have already cut your loss have you tried this before or have you ever experienced this before okay now let me know if you had experienced this before all right, then I just want to let you know you are not alone. Okay, many people experienced this before. Okay, and um, if you look at the technological advancement, it is so easy to know. Okay, your stop loss that you put, or it is so easy to know, for example, okay, an obvious support or resistance level. Why? Because as I said already, so many people knows about. TA, technical analysis, anybody can come in, all right, to just do, uh, to teach you, all right, things that they know in the YouTube or Facebook, all right. So it's become so common that all these levels are easily seen by programs, okay.
有好多 programs by even simple programs that I can code. So I I just can code all these and see all these key levels and all these key levels I can just trip the stop. Okay, all right. So this are、uh, very typical. Okay, wash and rinse action, and we are talking about then how to okay um not soft. Okay, I don't think that there is a way to totally stop or solve the problem. How to trick along with them? That's the key thing. All right. So just to let you know, all these are all very common. All right. And you ask me, is there a way to avoid it?、Uh, I would say no. All right. There is not really a way to avoid it, but you have to know that it happens. All right. Um, you have to change the mentality of trading. Uh, when it's a high. Uh, please don't buy when it's a low.、Uh, please don't go and short it because then the probability is against you. Okay, and if you are expecting, let's say,、um, uh, a huge move to come, then you expect that there will be some killings before that, and you would be expecting actually a wash. I mean, to happen first before a true move to come. So these are the things. Hopefully, I I I hope that you can get out from here. Okay, so therefore, what is wash? Wash is like a fake move, often resulting in a loss. So wash means that you bought and then price kept going down. Okay, so then what is rinse? Rinse means that a subsequent move in your original direction. What's the result? You actually lost money, all right, before making money. And this could be、uh, a result of natural phenomena, or it could be actually artificially created. All right. So、um, wash and rinse is part of the alien wash strategy. And today、um, I like to just quickly go through how to identify the Um, patterns. Okay, that means that how to、uh, know what is wash and rinse. Okay, so here I'm gonna go and explain to you. Okay, so let's talk about、um, the scenario of sell first. Okay, that means that we talk about the sell signal. All right. Now,、um, if you have this particular chart here, and then if you put our、um, tall three point zero indicator into your chart, all right,、um, the places where Ah,、uh, they are drawn with red color arrows or ticks. Okay, I repeat, ah,、uh, red color arrows or tick, right? Okay. Now this red color arrow means that ah,、uh, this that bar that was being drawn would be the rinse bar. Okay. So any any bar that is drawn with the red color arrow, right, will be the rinse bar for the sell. All right. Now, so therefore, the wash bar will happens before. Okay, so how would the wash bar happens? Okay, so the wash bar is actually this particular bar here, which I'm gonna mark it as one. Okay, one here, and I'm just gonna mark this one as W. All right. Now, before one, the before candle, I'm just gonna mark it as zero to label to make sure that um you know what I'm talking about. Now, what is the wash bar? Now, wash bar means that this particular price has been artificially pushed up. Okay, so I let me just give you the setting here. If you look at one, one closed higher than zero. So one is higher than zero, and it closed higher than zero. So if you just purely look into one and zero, just these two candle here, right? Then the conclusion would be, at candle number one, people are aggressively buying. Okay, is that a correct conclusion? I think yes, right? Because we look at the The extent of price actually moving up, okay, and it's a solid bar, white color candle, right? Then people are aggressively buying even towards the close of the session, all right. At the end of the day, or end of the week, or end of the bar, right? People are still aggressive buying at the end of candle one, all right. Okay, so if you compare just zero and one, people are buying at one very aggressively. But if you look into the entire context,、huh? into the entire context, you realize that somewhere before one, be before one that happens. Okay, that means somewhere around here. All right. So there was actually a high that's being formed, and we know this as a resistance because then there was a high, and price met a ceiling here, and that's a resistance. Okay. Now, therefore, if you put things into context, huh? And you just draw this horizontal line like this, extrapolate. Then you know that when one was being pushed up, people were buying at this place here, this here, right? 
when they are buying near to the high they are buying near to a previous resistance if you put things in the context correct or wrong okay now so therefore even though one looks ultra bullish in context huh, one is actually very very near to a resistance so people who bought at one was near to a resistance okay so this means what does it mean it means uh, that people bought right into the resistance and there is a chance for price to reverse and for people who bought in right to be wrong okay now people who bought at one especially towards the end of candle one right um are hoping that price will go higher but be but the fact that they buy at the high okay they become very jittery isn't it okay why are they jittery because because they didn't buy at the low they bought at the high all right so when price reverse a little bit they will immediately all right be so scared because they bought at the high and any slight drop right would result in a huge swift all right in in them to unload the position okay but think about from the other's perspective who pushed the price up okay for people who push the price up they might have actually seen that resistance and they want to do something here okay so you you realize that now trading has become very different trading has become in a way that one day it goes up a lot like is the start of a bull market and after that right it just turns hugely downwards like nothing ever happened all right and it's the end of the world like that okay. you don't have that very tame movement very slow movement you have very drastic up and down movement okay now that's because uh all right um i know support resistance you know support resistance i know that a lot of machines out there a lot of fund managers a lot of traders out there would have actually seen all these levels and we have seen this level much earlier than any one of us okay can they do something around that all right i'm sure they can because even i can all right i'm sure that with their you know amount of money they have okay and their resources they can do something so a lot of all this huge up move here resulted and then that's where retailers find that it's very difficult to cope with the market because if they are just a little bit slower they find themselves getting trapped and they need to put the stocks inside the fridge okay but we use this phenomena and we say that if one is higher than zero right so this is a possible wash bar okay so what we do is that as long as one is higher than zero we draw a wash line so you see this green color wash line being drawn here so this is a wash line okay so this wash line here uh, we draw it and if price continue to stay above the wash line it will becomes a bullish movement but if price doesn't stay above the wash line uh, that means that it doesn't stay above this color line that i've drawn in here in fact that it comes back down all right so this becomes a rinse bar okay so that's the idea of a wash and rinse okay so the idea would be first you have a starting candle all right let me just clean this one up first we have a starting candle let's say for example uh this one is um zero and one okay one is higher than zero you draw a wash line okay as long as price never close below the wash line then you know there's no rinse bar okay because then rinse wash might have happened so this might be a wash bar here but there's no rinse bar it doesn't complete the pattern okay so let's take let's take let's say we have two here all right if two is high if, if two is not higher than one then you can't draw a wash line okay so let's say for example three all right three is higher than two all right can we draw a wash line yes you can right because three close higher than two so therefore this becomes a wash line okay so if price never close below it then there's no rinse bar but if price close below it like this bar here so this would be a rinse bar and then this one would be a wash bar all right so this is a typical wash and rinse all right some questions you might ask me hey Bini, um how many bars are there in a wash and rinse okay it can be just a simple two bar or it can be a um 20 bars it doesn't really matter what matter is that you know the washed must show significant of being a fake move and the rings conv con confirmed that the fake move had 
um, happened. Okay, so for example, uh, let's take a look at this one here. So this was the bar that pushed above the previous high. So we have a washed line here. All right, then um, as long as price doesn't close below the wash line, so there's no wash and means, right? But price closes below that wash line, you realize that it just continue to move down. Okay, so that's the wash and means that happen. And the wash and means happen near to a resistance. This becomes an even better trade because then it just says that so many bulls are trying to push it up. Okay, push up so many times, push up. All this movement are all being fake. Uh, they're all fake move, right? Because then the market is just using this push up to unload their position and to load up on their shots. And that's the reason why when wash and means happen, all right, it's usually very explosive. Okay, usually very explosive because then a lot of people here are very jittery. Plus, there's a lot of, you know, I don't want to say scam, but I would say that there's a lot of tricks here, all right? And there's a lot of um, excessiveness here. Uh, a lot of people get overly excited and without, you know, taking note of what is actually happening. There was a clear resistance here. Market has actually gone up for a while, okay? Um, a lot of all these news, news or news wire doesn't help. Okay? Because you know that I'm being interviewed and whenever they call me and interview me about the market, usually they call me and ask me about how how um uh how how uh whether people can enter or not, right? When the market is topish. That's what usually they do. And they call me and then talk about how bearish the market was when the market is actually near to the bottom. So the news wire are always, always slow. But to be saved, we always answer according to what is the current sentiment. Okay. Now, so let's just give you another one, one more example in this same chart here. Okay, take a look at the one that's being circled. All right. Let me just uh, remove this one. So it's, uh, well, I can't remove this. Okay, so that's the one that's being circled here. All right, so you see this red color arrow uh, thick here. Okay, so that's a thick, right? So let me just ask you one question. Um, is there a wash line between candle 0 and 1? Yes or no? Was there a wash line between candle 0 and 1? Can I draw a 0 and 1 wash line here? Yes or no? What do you think? Give me your response. Okay. Now then the next question would be, um, was there a wash and rinse then between uh, subsequently, that means that was there any wash and rinse where price actually closed below this wash line that I've drawn? Okay, was there any wash and rinse that closed below um, the, the price that I've drawn here? Yes, eventually, all right. But you realize that as price moves higher, meaning that let me just clean this one away. Uh, as price move higher between 0 and then 1 and then maybe 2 here, okay, you realize that I can, I, well, I can draw another one more wash line, okay, because 2 and 1, there was this green color line that's being automatically drawn here, right? Okay, now 2 closed above 1 high, so 2 closed above 1, right? So that becomes a wash line being drawn, okay? Now, as I said before, as long as price stay above the wash line, okay, stay above the wash line, uh, then that becomes a place for us to um, consider still bullishness, okay. But the fact that if it doesn't close above um, the wash line, and in fact it closed below the wash line, so that becomes a wash and rinse. So wash and rinse is actually, in a way, very easy for implementation, okay. Uh, because it's very human nature. If it's above it, then there is no wash and rinse. Okay, all right. But it must reverse the other side, and that result in wash and rinse. Okay. So um, the set of indicators it gives you the idea of where actually wash and rinse happen. Okay. All right. So in order for us to get this trade, uh, which is about five hundred pips. Okay. So that's a lot of movement, and that's a lot of money also. Because if you just say, um, spend a thousand dollar, okay, to trade into 
uh, one standard contract. A 500 pips uh, will be equal to $5,000 okay, in such a short span of time. All right? So that is really considered a lot of money for this trade here okay, on just a simple wash and rinse. Okay? Now, so how do we execute this wash and rinse? What we do is that we don't trade it off a day chart, meaning that we will read the wash and rinse in the day chart, a day time frame. But in order to ensure, all right, to make sure that we have an edge, meaning that because we are trading and to make sure that we have a starting edge, what we will do is that we would fine tune the trade, okay, fine tune the trade, right, in the lower time frame, in one time frame lower. Okay, so this is a little bit different from stocks because I know that you came from stocks. When you do stocks, right, you don't really care about this time frame, but you know the amount of training that you can get from my from my world, okay, all right, from my world, right, is very intensive in a way because you get a lot more experience. So when you tr when you have experience into the let's say into the forex huh, or into trading commodities, right, when you go back into the stocks. You realize, hey, the stocks are reading the stock charts. They are easy peasy because they are so simple. Okay, um, so it's very different. So what we do is that we will mark the wash line, okay, in the lower time frame. So just now, for example, uh, when I mark that wash line here, so these was the same wash line. So that's being visualized in a four-hour chart. So just now we we look at the wash and rinse time timeframe, wash and rinse pattern in the day chart but this time round we switch that and we visualize that wash line in a four hour chart and we execute the trade in a four hourly manner okay that means our trade doesn't happen um uh, at the end of the day okay our trade happens every four hourly okay so therefore i can safely let you know the trade execution happens at this bar here all right, which was about um, uh, this time here, right, was about 1 a.m. Singapore time. Okay, so that, that was when the trade happened. All right, so we don't trade at the end of the day, but in order for us to get such a massive move, we will be trading every four hours, which means that my trading hours are my trading time, right? Uh, right now, in, right now, based on daylight saving, because now is the winter period, would starts at two p.m. So either I get a trade at two p.m. Or, or I don't, or I get a trade at six p.m. Or I have a trade at ten p.m. Or I have a trade at two a.m. Okay, and that's it, no more. All right. So it makes it very easy for people who are working because people who are working will have time to trade at six. 10 and 2 a.m. I know that 2 a.m. you are sleeping already, okay? But the reality is that most of the time, the trade will happen during these two time zones. That's also the reason why a lot of foreigners, uh, they like to uh, come to this part of the world, okay? They like to stay in uh, Thailand, in Indonesia, where it's cheap, okay? But they get that perfect time, right, to actually trade. So Asia becomes a very good retirement place uh, for those people who are trading okay all right okay so one question roy asked with the multiple wash lines seen how do we know that the rings uh, line we buy is the correct one if that is will not lose money because you have seen the outcome therefore you will see so many wash line when price are evolving uh, that means trading, right? At that point of time, you will only see that one wash line, which is the green color one. Okay, so I don't think that you would um, get the wash line wrong because the wash lines are automatically drawn for you. Okay, all right. And uh, because we have also, that's also a very valid question. We have trigger for you. That means that what we do, right, is, is to avoid mistake. That means that, you know, there are always a chance that you have recognized a signal wrongly. And when you go to a trainer, your trainer says, oh yeah, you recognize it wrongly. For us, 
And for me, I don't want to do this kind of things. Okay. So what I do is I provide all these tools for the students. For example, you have seen us, um, you know, that tall 3.0, that auto draw, wash and rinse in any time frame. So whether it's day, week or month or H4, you can draw it automatically. So the wash and rinse pattern that you see on your chart and my chart will be the same as long as we use the same price feed. Okay. Now, this and other indicator which are not given to you free, but that is included in the package. All right. It's called the MTF. So these would draw your wash line for you. Okay. Not only that you will draw the wash line, it tells you whether you are trading with the trend or whether it's a uh, mean reversion trade. That means the counter trend trade. So all these will also be automatically drawn. That means the wash line and the and my wash line that you uh, my wash line that I have and the wash line that you have, they are they will be the same. Okay. Then we have another one which is called the auto box, which is um to 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 basically segment the prices in the lower time frame and the dashboard that will alerts and uh, monitor the trade every four hourly. That means that when there's a trade that happens, okay. Um, I receive that alert and you will receive that alert as well. So this is the dashboard here. The dashboard means that we put in all the trades that we want to monitor and automatically it will just monitor that signal. So which trades is above the wash line, which trades is below the wash line. So for example here, right, um, this is a trade that went above the wash line. Okay, so this one was the sell. So that's a, a below the wash line. And then this one was the... Mm, we don't have any more. Okay, we look at those which are colored up, fired up. Okay, so that's the trade that we are looking for. Okay, so um, I will demonstrate one trade for you uh, because I, I did that trade just now. But before that, right, um, let me just quickly go through uh, the one trade that, not this trade here, but I just want to get rid of this one. Okay, so... This was a trade that I did just now on US 500 because there was an alert on US 500. Um, I think that a lot of our students would know um, that uh, I talk about potentially uh, US 500, which is uh, SPX, uh, S&P 500, and uh, the uh, Dow Jones, okay, potentially actually coming down. Okay, So this was a trade that I did. I just record because it's very difficult to... Um, to show you right now because the trade already happened. Okay, so let me just briefly explain. At, do you see this bearish US 30 here? So I know that it's a little bit very small. All right, but at the right hand side here, huh? So it's uh, it's fire up this US 30. Okay, US 500. Okay, so a sell signal here. So both of them are sell at 48 minutes ago. Okay, so just now I explained that. Um, my trade happens at 2 p.m. That's the FX side. But for index, it happens one hour later. So at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., there was a trade. Okay. So what I did is that I missed that trade. Now, huh? doesn't matter. So um, we have this automation, which is called Alum. Okay. Um, what, you, what you can do is you can just define how much you want to lose. Okay. So I'm actually defining how much I want to lose. This trade, I want to lose like $500. Huh? All right. And then once I define how much I want to lose, I just click OK. And then just drag it in, all right? And you will automatically execute the trade. Okay, so that means that you just put it in. When there's a signal, it will execute. If there's no signal, it doesn't execute. But if you want to execute at any one point of time, um, you can do that. And you can let the um, expert advisor, which is called a robot, right, help you. So you can see that in just about a uh, few seconds, I've executed um, the trade. And it's managed to put in six lots all together for me. All right. And that's the uh, interim profit target I'm actually targeting first. Okay. So that's the trade that I did just now on uh, US 500. Okay. So, so far, any question so that I can answer the question and then show to you the outcome. I also don't know what's the outcome of this particular trade. Any um, question on the trade? Okay, so let me just show you the outcome. So this is a uh, trade that was done, all right? 
can see that um, in terms of the signal, it happens here. So let me just show you. In terms of the signal, the trade actually happens here. This one. Oops, this one here. So that was the signal. All right. I was late and I executed this one at this point here. And then price actually moved down. All right. So I'm just waiting for price to hit this interim profit target. Once it hit that, it will automatically shift the stop loss for me. All right. So is this a wash and means? Um, yes, potentially. Okay. So let me just explain why potentially there might be a wash and means. So let me just clean this one. Just give me a minute. Okay. So um, right now, as you can see, right, it did like two lots each. Huh? Okay. Because it's split into three tickets and it's doing a profit of 107. We're just waiting for it to go. Um, in terms of stop loss automatically put in the stop loss based on our calculation and this is our interim profit target and then this one um it's our suspected target profit for this okay um this is a trade manager what is a trade manager the trade manager basically the function is to help you manage the trade just now you realize that i demonstrated by putting in 500 dollars right as a risk okay um and what it did right is it calculate the lot size, the amount of size, okay, that is required for me to lose $500 in this trade. That means the maximum loss will be $500. So you, instead of you calculating the lot size, by the time that this trade, right, it touches the stop loss, then it will lose $500 or less. So that's the function. So how many of you have problem doing your risk management? That means you don't follow um, your calculation, you anyhow put in a trade, then this robot can help you solve the problem. So that's the first thing that you will do. Okay. Now, the second thing that you will do, of course, there's a, there's a many, I mean, a lot of you learn many great systems. Okay. Many great systems. Now, what happened when you learn great systems then? You don't know where to put in your stop loss. Okay. And you don't know where to put in your profit target. And you ask your trainer, you ask your senior, you ask whoever to help, you also don't know. So I don't want to have this problem. So what I want to do is that when you use this tool, it will automatically decide your stop loss based on our rule. Okay. So yes, I will still show you where to put in the stop loss, the theory behind putting the stop loss. But rather than to teach you all this and then you tell me that, hey, look, I don't understand what you're talking about. I've learned already, but it took me a long, long time to learn it. Then I build this tool to, uh, that automatically put in the stop loss for you. Okay. And you're, you're going to say, hey, look, um, I don't know how to take partial profit. Then don't worry. I build in this tool so that you take that partial profit for you. Okay. And you say, I don't know where is your final profit target. Don't worry. I build the tool that gives you the final profit target for you, okay? So it's as if that uh, you are vacuuming a floor, right? Last time you need to sweep a floor with a broom. Now, we advance to using vacuum cleaner, okay? No, with this tool, it's as if that you have this small little robot that you press the button and then say, okay, um, I just want you to vacuum the floor when I come back and finish done, okay? I don't need to do any other things, all right? So it is a tool. But, you know, the tool doesn't say, doesn't, doesn't hundred percent, right? Say, uh, um, make sure, doesn't hundred percent waived off your responsibility to check that this is a good trade. Okay. You, you get what I'm trying to say? Because if you totally let this tool take over for you to decide what to trade, then you may as well sit down there and let the golden, let the goose uh, lay golden eggs. But if the loose goose are laying golden eggs, right? Why aren't we seeing tons and tons of millionaire out there? Why are people still trying to sell their costs aggressively via YouTube? There is no such things. We still need to pay a little bit of attention. These tools help you to manage the trade such that, for example, when you need to, when you're at work, you need to trail your stop loss to protect your profit. When you're sleeping, you need to protect your profit. 
okay when you have special events happening and you're just not around you need to protect your profit you need to throw a stop loss the tool can help you manage that okay or for example um this is a good trade s p 500 might drop 1000 point might only uh, i'm not saying it will right might and then how do i keep on adding the position so that i can maximize the right it might might be because you don't have the courage to keep adding the position because you keep wanting to actually close the position or it could be because the next 24 hours you need to be on the plane you can't even look at the trade so the tools will automatically calculate the amount of profit that you it had and then add in the trade for you automatically okay so this is the idea of the two automatically you do it for you minimize your error okay so for example how many of you all right can do it in just a few milliseconds to calculate the amount of lot size that is being required by knowing how much risk that you want to lose how much money you want to lose right i did that in just a few seconds all right so that's what the tools are doing here okay so in terms of our trade we look at the dashboard so this is a dashboard here all right so this is exactly why i have the dashboard and there are trades that came in like trades that happened two hours and 51 minutes ago all right like euro cat um euro kiwi etc and then we have the um the indexes okay and does it fit into a potential uh, uh things that we learned in terms of wash and means okay so for example so this is um what we are seeing right now okay so this is a day chart okay in terms of my uh um stock as i mean uh, not stock in terms of my chart that i'm seeing okay so the first thing that i'm seeing here number one there is a possible resistance here okay you agree with me yes that there was a high a resistance all right then next is that oh yeah um take a look at this bar here so this one okay so let me just mark it down for you just now we learn things like oh this is if this is zero if this is one is there is one higher than zero the answer is yes can we draw a wash line the answer is yes okay so that's the wash line agree okay now next question this bar here the one i'm drawing here is there a potential rinse that means that the price stay above the wash line or it is below the wash line what do you think above or below the wash line Still waiting for your answer if this is the wash line here this one right is priced above or below the wash line okay you know the answer is very clear it is right now below the wash line so what the system is telling us me all right is that there might be a potential okay for a ah sell okay so for sell right and what is, what are the problems that we 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 had many times that when you you saw it coming down and so obvious already you say ah yeah ah if i know that will be great how well if somebody tell me about it okay all right all right so so i don't want this kind of trades i don't want to miss out that 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 trade that the good trade there okay so therefore i want to be alerted okay, so i look at the alerts here okay and the alerts happens to let me know that okay the, there was a sell opportunity here okay number two now sometimes i'm not confident i saw this then you probably ask yourself hey, should i do it should i not should i do it should i not all right so that's always the question and even if you decided that you want to do it then where's my stop loss i don't know where is it ah uh, but i'm not sure whether this is there or not you see so once the alert came in you know ah uh, okay at least the system is telling me that oh yeah uh, they see the same thing i'm not wrong okay so don't need to ask Bini because the system right now the dashboard already confirmed that this is the signal here okay all right then here at this moment then we just have to put in the trade and then you just have asked yourself okay once you put in the trade are you going to 
stand the risk because there's no such things, right, as 100% win. It's all a probability. If there's 100% win, then I would just sell everything, all my children, and dump all the money inside. Okay, so it's a probability game. All right, so when you have this as a probability game, so what you do is just put in the risk that's enough that you think you can you can help you, all right? And then you just put in a trade. But of course, that there are also things that tells me this trade might be a little bit tougher. For example, uh, that we have another one more wash line here, okay? So we have one one more wash line here that is blocking the trade, huh? All right. So that's why you see it is reacting very very nicely, all right? Okay. Now. Um, the wash line is auto drawn because you see why. If you just look at this day here, the wash line is automatically drawn here. All right, so everything is just automatically drawn. All right, so let me just answer a few questions first. Um, in terms of the method, okay, everything will be explained in the course, as I mentioned, where to put the interim profit, where to put the final profit. Everything will be mentioned in the course. But even I can mention 100 times, nothing beats having something automated for you to just do it nicely for you. Okay. Um, so, so let me see. Is this auto traded by the system? Yes. We just find in and let the system do all the trading for us. Um, you let the system do the trading for you, but you decide what to trade. So that, that means that it doesn't wave off your responsibility. To check for this trade just remember okay um i can build auto trading for sure and keep on trading trading but it just doesn't work this way all right so i don't want you to bomb your account eventually and then be disappointed all right so this is my responsibility to you how are you sure about there's nothing called how sure am i about this trade okay so there's a manual validation so yes i validated already right so i explained that you want to save time you want to avoid mistake you want it to be done automatically for you it's the same thing as vacuuming right you press the button to tell the vacuum cleaner to vacuum you give the right for it to start vacuuming your house okay but the rest of the thing right in terms of vacuuming the vacuum cleaner will handle for you until the house is clean so this is what this robot is doing. It will handle the trade, manage the trade for you, but you have to go and press the button to get it started. All right. What platform you are using MT4, which is a generic uh, platform for mostly a lot of uh, MQL program because it's being coded in this platform here. So it's MT4 or MT5. All right. So the MT5 version will be launched very soon. I know how to decide when to close the trade or take interim profit. That will be taught, but then it can be automatically decided by the system. Okay, all right. Okay, thanks a lot uh, for the questions. Does the EA take into account the amount of risk and trades currently running? Yes, they will take into account um, your total number of trades uh, that's running at the same time and then there will be an overall account control okay so you can define that i do not want to expose 10 percent of my overall reads on all the trades that's being um, taken by the robot so as long as you hit more than 10% risk, it will stop opening new, new trade for you. Or rather, it will warn you that you hit this, do you still want to open? Okay. Does the... Okay, so that's, that's answered the question already. If you follow all the trade alerts generated, how much returns percent can we make? Oh, wow, well, I do not know because I never follow all the trades that's being generated. There are a few rules that I always repeat to my students, okay? Number one is that we choose those traits that fit our rule, okay? One of the rules that we have is a retest. The other rule is that you want to trade that's with the trend or at least you are on the start of the trend. So there's a few criteria here. So um, some students, of course, they don't mind taking a higher level of risk. They just put in a higher level of risk, all right? So we have, what I can only offer you is that 
Um, my experience when I use this to help me and I treat the system, I'm able to actually draw, withdraw minimum a five figure every month. Okay. Um, December, I don't have this because I was away for two, two weeks. I make sure I don't trade that aggressively. But, you know, normal times, that's not a problem. But again, I don't want to promise that to you because you are new to the system. All right. So I do not think that you can achieve that easily. Okay. Green is about 60%. I would really think it's about 60%. But the reward to risk ratio is actually very high. Okay, so if you can let the trade continue to add for you, right, you can reach as high as three to four uh, to reach. Okay, the new one that's going to be released, that's Alom Greed, can reach um, as much as seven to eight times. Okay, if, I, if you miss the trade when the dashboard alerted, how to decide if I can still enter the trade? So what you can do is that as long as the system the signal doesn't move, okay? doesn't move against you, right? Um, you can just use our panel here to place in the limit order and hope that you will reach your limit order. Let's say, for example, I sold it here, right? I missed out the good price, right? But I sold it here. But if you decided to sell it here again, you can easily use the same panel to go and place a limit order to sell it back into the same price. And the best thing is that even when you use a limit order, all right. Um, after you miss the signal, and if you get executed, then the robot will manage the trade for you. Okay. See the robot as a trade manager. It should manage the trade for you. Okay. Now, you go and look through your past losing trades. Understand your past losing trades. You realize that it has to do with bad management. When you need to cut your loss, you never cut your loss. When you don't need to take your profit, you took your profit. All right. So people ask me about accuracy. Well, I always ask back, have you ever looked back to your trade management? Okay, I think that's a more critical question. Okay, especially when you are dealing with professional trading. We are talking about risk and trade management as the more important thing. All right. Okay, I will talk about the refund plan. So very soon I come to that. Do we need to install the VPS to run in the system? Um, the answer is ideally yes, especially for the grid system. And the lucky thing is that if you look at the scroller, right, um, you realize that uh, the, the brokers are offering and providing you with free six-month VPS. Okay, The alert can be sent to the phone, yes. right, But um, it, you, ha you have to install the MetaTrader app, uh, for, but you have a new iPhone, then MetaTrader doesn't support or rather, iPhone doesn't have MetaTrader anymore because Apple removed the app from the App Store. Okay, so this one I need to let you know. Otherwise, the answer is yes. Okay. How to get the signal for stocks if operating in MT4? MT4 is uh, has stocks available. All right. Um. So for example, so let me just show you this one here. Uh, there are stocks, but they are limited stocks. Are uh, not all the stocks are available here. Okay, so limited stocks. You can get alerts on limited stocks. All right. Okay. Now, so let me just go to the end here. So lastly, just on presentation, if you want to use the Tor, okay, the Alien Wars short form is TAW Tor, right? You can use it for stocks. Index, Forex, Go, and Oil. Okay. Now, for stocks, huh, this portion here, is that when there's a stock opportunity, that means that when the stock has very good buying opportunity, I will divert my support session, all right, to talk about the stocks and how to enter the stocks. That means that if you are with me, I'm not one who will keep talking about the stocks when the stocks are not attractive. Because face it, all right, we are predominantly on buying stocks. That means the long stocks, okay? And a lot of people hold stocks huh? because not that they want to hold. They are forced to hold. They bought in already and then they cannot sell because it kept dropping. Therefore, no choice. They have to put it into the fridge, lock it into the freezer all right, and hold it there, hopefully to give it to their grandchildren. Okay, So I want to be very frank with you. When I look at stocks, I look at it when there's opportunity. For example, Last year, all right, in uh, November, 
I was looking into the Hong Kong market because to me, that's opportunity. That's the best time to buy. All right. Now you ask me to talk about the Hong Kong stocks. Forget about it. I'm not going to talk about it because there's no opportunity. Okay. So for stocks, we, we can use it, but it's just a different way. All right. So I'm more focused on pursuing opportunities and more into looking at easy to trade instrument. Okay. So for example, last year, all right, we had a very nice way to trade into oil. Okay. Oil was just a fantastic trade huh, for us. Okay. Towards the end of last year, what was the best instrument? Okay. That is to short into dollar versus uh, RMB. Okay. And what was the best trade to do earlier year, right? In terms of forex that is to long into the dollar okay where stocks right basically overall you just have to do one direction that is too short but people just don't want to short okay all right so uh the end of what i'm gonna deliver here is that don't guess how we are trading don't guess our method okay which time frame how we enter how we exit don't guess it because you know a little bit is actually very dangerous okay uh, what i'm telling you is that if you are busy, okay, then you might not be able to trade the 2 p.m. signal, all right? But, you know, you can always use our trade manager, all right, to set in the trader, okay, they put in it, put it, put that in bef the day before or two days before or three days before, okay? And then after that, you can say, okay, I want to trade into S&P 500. Just put it in because I think that it is near to a resistance, all right? So then the trade manager will automatically open the trade for you okay, without you even there to do the trade because the dashboard would monitor automatically for you every four hours. And if you allow the trade manager to trade for you, that means you must give an instruction. Do you want me to trade for you? You answer yes. Okay. And then therefore it will open for you when the signal happens. Now, which means that, right, even if you are working, even if you are sleeping at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., we can still do the trade. All right? Okay. Now, why are we able to get trainer where, um, you know, like S&P 500 or sometime NASDAQ, it's easy for us to get 1,000 points or S&P 500 to get easy like 200 points. Okay. Why? Because we are trading on a higher time frame, the weekly and the day time frame but we execute the trade in a four hour chart so that is the trick here so we are actually doing a multiple time frame trading all right okay so for this one here all right okay now so let me just quickly answer your question later one by one okay so let me just finish the presentation here all right so the Tall costs, there are two modules, okay? Two modules, right? Tall costs, there are two modules. The first module is free, okay? Now, the second module that includes the strategy, the execution, all right? Um, the nitty-gritty stuff, the fine detail is payable. You need to pay for that, okay? And you need to pay 700 SGD for this one, all right? So our cost is considered very cheap, if you compare to any of those provider out there, okay? So for example, if you had signed for my course last year, you have access to that, you know, um, video on REITs. And overall, if you just go and buy any one REITs or any two or three REITs, right? Last year in October or November, you would have made back the cost fee also. For example, if you have just put it bluntly in terms of stocks, okay? Now, um, the do you need to complete module one to do module two? The answer is yes, you must do that. Okay, that means that in order to complete the course, it's actually two modules. All right, now, um, the first module would tell you the basic of wash and rinse, what is it, and then um, the, the underlying principle behind wash and rinse. So, this is something which I hope that you can benefit because. Trading is no longer simple and the same anymore, okay? Um, it might be simple 20 years ago, 30 years ago, right? But right now, it's not. And if you apply 
the same methodology, all right, like for example, you use the same RSI indicator or use the same whatever super indicator out there, all right, that was being developed 20, 30 years ago. Based on that information, you use it here, you might not be able to make the money because the environment is different. Okay. So under module two, not only that you get the full sword strategy, you also have this support here. Okay, which I think is more important. So this support here is the first uh, the course is online. If it's physical, there's no way I can sell the course cheap. Okay, so it's online, you attend the lesson as many times and any time as you want. All right. Now, but at the same time, you will include a 12 month support. Okay, so what is this 12 month support here? Now we call this support the alien room. That means inside this service. All right, or rather inside this plan here, you're going to have a full suite of support. Number one, you're going to have the use of all our indicators and EA robots, right? The one I've shown you, all right, for the use of 12 months, okay? And then we will also be um, doing our automated broadcast to your uh, Telegram, if you subscribe that, right, on the daily wash and rinse signal. So that's wash and rinse signal, all right, will be there, okay? Now, twice weekly webinars, meaning that for those people who are afraid that after you're attending the online lesson, right, you just don't know what is it, then you can attend the online webinar, okay, twice weekly, okay. So Tuesday and Thursday will be the webinar. Tuesday will be the time that we are talking about trades, okay. Thursday will be the session that I would do revision for you, answer your questions, especially if you are newbies. And then I will be going through um, in detail the things that you need to know. Okay, so you can watch it. All right, the recorded version if you can't attend the session. Okay, then we have the Facebook support group and then we have actually the trade ideas and reviews here. Now, the one that I've highlighted is actually unlimited. Okay, unlimited means that let's say, for example, after 12 months, your subscription expire already. Okay. Can you still use our indicator? The answer is actually no. All right, because you need to actually pay for that. Can you still assess some of our trade ideas? The answer is no. Okay, you can assess most, but those which are very, very important trade ideas, we actually lock it for our members. All right, so you need to pay for them. But otherwise, uh, if you want to continue to be trained by us, you want to continue to attend that webinars, you can do it even after your subscriptions expire. Plus, actually, I don't upsell. I don't say that now is seven hundred dollars, and after that, right? Oh yeah, you are not successful. Okay, not successful. I have another one better program for you. No, I don't do such things. Okay, I continue to train you until I hope that you can make it. Okay, because I'm realistic. Not everybody is suitable for trading. Okay, otherwise, on the streets, right? You're gonna have tons and tons of traders. Okay, not everybody are suitable. Okay, I don't want to lie to you. Okay, because I've been in this training for more than 15 years. I've seen people who are very, very successful, but people just, some people just simply cannot. Okay, all right. Okay, now, so let me just explain how the cost is fully refunded. All right. So, for example, um, I have students who join from MarketWise Asia, and then, um, uh, you know, Alan, Alan, I met him recently. So he likes that twice weekly coaching, okay? And the $700 is actually fully refunded via a very innovative program that I've set up, okay? Now, what is this innovative program, okay? Now, he said that he was initial skeptical, but it's real and quite easy to achieve, okay? That means that it's not something where it's a scam, it is not all right now how is this being done let me just go through this one first huh first huh? the q a first okay because i've jumped to this slide already then after that i'm just going to go through here now it's being done so a uh, few things uh, before that how what happened after 12 months that means 12 months there's a there's a included in your uh current 700 dollars right there's a 12 month support now what happened after 12 months you can decide to renew and to renew to continue to use our indicators, to use our services, to use our support, you pay sing dollar five hundred and seventy six. So that's for twelve months. Okay, so twelve months support is five seven six. In a way, all right. Um, let me just pull it this way. 
if you after one year decided that this trading uh, is not for me okay then your loss uh, is zero why do i say that because trading i can't control because trading you might make or you might lose i can't i do my best to help you i cannot promise that you make the money because even the best trader out there can lose money okay but what i can say is that the reason is zero that's because your 700 dollars for the course fee is actually refunded okay so you should you not want to continue then you just don't continue and don't pay me any more money okay next question must you pay the course fee first yes the answer is yes you pay the course fee and then it's being refunded back in as cash into your trading account next is it suitable for newbie yes Okay, is it suitable for existing trader? Yes. Is it suitable for very professional traders? I will answer hundred percent yes because I don't think that you have seen this before. Okay, you have not seen the watch and rings before, right? Okay. So therefore, okay. So one year, one year is the support. That means included in this seven hundred dollars program. Okay. So let me just draw that down. Right, seven hundred dollars. Okay is the cost plus a 12 months which is a one year right month support all right so that's the support that we have included inside the cost all right now after one year what happened you can continue to renew so you pay continue every year you pay five seven six Okay, one year later, another one year later, what happened? You still continue to pay 576 as long as I never increase the price. Okay, so that's that's how it goes. All right. Now, then how would be this $700 be refunded? They are conditions. In fact, that after I've talked to you guys uh, from the market watch, a lot of people actually came to us. A lot of people actually signed up. A lot of people had actually the $700 refunded back into our account already. Okay, so between um the time that i've talked to you then we had chinese new year and then now right it's about two weeks seven hundred dollars being refunded okay so how it goes is this one here all right so first you need to open an account with the broker okay so we call this a broker all right okay so first condition is you need to put minimum sgd Sing dollar, huh? everything that I mentioned is sing dollar, 2000 inside your account. Okay, 2000 inside your account, right? Now, after that, you need to to 2.0 lots. That means you need to trade 2.0 lots, all right, to fulfill the minimum volume. I will show you how to do that in just three minutes, huh? 2.0 lots to fulfill the volume, all right? And the money then. Of seven hundred dollars would be paid inside the account, the broker account. Okay, that means the broker account right now would have how much already? Two point seven k. Okay, all right. Now the broker is using pay now, one of the broker. So therefore, if you want to still keep 2000 in your trading account because you need to trade anyway, right? Then you take the $700 out. Okay. All right. So this is how it goes. Okay. So there is no such thing as called free lunch in this world. I hope that you understand. I'm being frank about it. Therefore, you need to pay first. Okay. Pay the $700 first. Then... Fulfill this criteria, which is fund 2K minimum, and then trade two lots. Then that will give you the $700 as cash. I'm not talking about credit or whatever. This is a very hard to come promotion because it's in cash, right? Then that cash will be paid inside to your broker account and you withdraw the $700. Okay. All right. Okay. Now. So let me just explain or rather answer some of the questions and just wait for the rest to come in. All right. Um, I think I answered quite a lot of questions and actually Pauline helped me answer some questions already. 
<coughs> do we manual input the order after we see the signal or we can set or system auto yes we can set system auto you can input so that's flexible i already explained that after six months free vps will be the charges according to the vps but i hope to get another one more deal for you so far my students who have been with me kept getting extension in terms of deals okay um when black swan happens when black swan happens everything would trip okay nothing would um uh would help okay so i just give you one example let's not talk about black swan let's talk about brexit okay so when when the news of brexit came in all right all the pound pairs that means gbp right all um moved to wally all right gap so some people put a stop loss. The stop loss also cannot help because why? The broker are not able, I'm talking about Singapore brokers, right? Are not able to meet the stop loss. This happened in stocks. This happened in um, FX and everywhere, right? So therefore, uh, nothing will help. The only thing is that um, if the black swarm comes in and because we have already the stop loss inside huh, into the system, you'll be the first to be tri triggered of the stop loss. So that you don't have extended loss okay so the key is that the stop loss are key into the system already um when you're not around the 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 automation would already have that stop loss for you all right okay so that's that's um how we do it okay so there's no other ways when black swarm happen everything will not do well can a strategy be executed below four hour yes on indexes but yeah, as Pauline said, the whipsaw would be greater. Will there be a promotion for assisting student? Yes. If you are assisting student and you have not claimed the $700 from any of the broker, you can still do that. Okay, please check out our website for more details. So do I have to use this broker for the alum grid? Yes, you have to. Do you need to subscribe to VPS to trade? No. You can use uh, your own existing desktop as a server. Or I've recommended to use a mini PC as a server. That's about $100 plus $200 for a mini PC. How much is the transaction fees? The transaction fees, you mean the brokerage fees? Okay, let me just show it to you how things go, okay? Um, just now I talk about... Fulfilling the um, condition, that means the two lots condition, right? Criteria two lots, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. Okay, so right now, so this is the trade panel here. All right, and then I just choose uh, a currency. Okay, let's say the currency that I want to trade um, is Euro dollar. The reason why I choose Euro dollar is because it has the... Um, uh, least spread spread is your cost of trading okay so it has the least spread okay something happens to my price fit just now so let me just rule it a little bit okay here we go okay so this is euro versus the dollar All right now i said before that we need to fulfill two lots uh, two standard lots uh, of volume okay a lot of people are scared afraid to meet that two standard lots because they say ah, I cannot do it but don't worry there's actually a way to do it okay so what you have to do is that you put in a new order here okay in the video we'll I also show you uh, how to do that so the this is 0 0.5 but what I need to do is I need to fulfill a total of 2.0 so I key in one here all right and the thing is that you just want to open and close immediately so you just lose your cost of transaction which is called your spread spread is true for stocks also okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do it first time right now open and close quickly but i just explained a little bit so that i'm not gonna close that very quickly right so the idea is you open and close quickly so that you you can clock that volume okay so i'm just gonna open one open already you realize that my loss right now is about 15 dollars if i can just close this immediately Okay, I will lose $15 when I fulfill the first volume. All right, so see that? I will lose immediately when I fulfill the first volume. Okay, 
right? So I lose fifteen dollars here. Right. Now next, I'm just going to um, do it again, right? Now when it's lot, uh, that means it's one hundred thousand units of transaction. So when you do the forex, right, uh, that will be explained, all right? So it's more like a volume, okay? So therefore, I'm just gonna do it again, the same thing. Just now I did one point zero already. Just gonna go new order. All right, same thing. I'm just gonna do it for euro. One lot with one unit, one hundred thousand. Just sell it. My loss is right now about fourteen dollars. I'm just gonna close it, okay? Because I'm a bit slow right now. I close it. In fact, I lose like four dollars. Okay. Now, so by doing this, by losing twenty dollars, fifteen and four. Huh? Okay. All right. I met that one lot criteria. See that? Okay, so that one lock criteria has been met in just the moment that I talk to you. Okay, and then I fulfill the criteria already in just three, three minutes or less than three minutes. Done. The whole idea is that open and closed. Don't do anything. And that you get your $700 back. Okay? All right. Um, for this broker account, is it a one-time deposit of 2K to open an account? Uh, I would say the minimum uh, amount to open uh, for this promotion is 2K, $2,000. All right, you can put in USD equivalent also. Dividends are paid into this brokerage account. Dividends are not paid because you are trading. All right, so the thing that you are, um, you might be paid is your swap, which is... Um, um, the amount of interest that you own, that you have, that you received, okay, from making, uh, from from doing a, um, from, from owning a currency. Say, for example, you put the money inside a bank, right, in SGD, then the bank has to give you interest, right? So when you trade into a certain forex instrument, like, for example, Aussie, okay, so then you might receive a little bit of interest from the amount that you trade, all right? Um, taxes are paid for this account. I don't really answer that and answer this uh, understand this question, but taxes means that um, if you make money from this account, uh, will you be taxed? The answer is no. You won't be taxed for capital gain if you are Singaporean. Okay. Um, XC or BB spread is lower. I, I I think that they are fine. They are fine. Okay. Um, not any higher or not any lower. They're very, very competitive, I would say. Most important, you have very good execution. All right. So um, if you have queries about meeting the two lots volume, I can just do it for you again. Okay. I can just easily fulfill that lot volume. Again, you know, all right. Just open one lot. I sell it. Okay. And don't think too much. Close it and then be faster a little bit and that's done okay and then you get that volume there all right now let me just explain what is book uh, leverage a lot of people are scared of leverage huh? all right um don't worry i'll explain that okay now um I, i'm just gonna use usd versus sgd dollar versus sing okay to explain what is uh leverage because dollar versus sing is a little bit more relevant to us, especially um, then you get to, uh, you, you are quite familiar with dollar versus thing. All right. So right now is trading about this number here, 1.31. Let's say, for example, um, if I would want to open the lowest trade size in Forex, okay, the lowest trade size in Forex is 0.1. 0 0.01 okay so we call this a micro lot okay micro all right now in fact this is equivalent to one thousand dollars one thousand unit of trade okay why i use one thousand unit now because let's say for example if i'm trading into dollar sing so this is equal to one thousand sing dollar okay now if i trade into what 0 0.1 okay so we call this a mini lot and this is in fact equal to ten thousand. Okay, ten thousand units, huh? So if I'm trading the dollar sing, that's ten thousand sing dollar. 
when I trade 1.0, just now I said this is one lot. This is, this is called a standard lot. Okay, standard. A1.0. So you need to fulfill 2.0. Okay, so you need to fulfill 200,000 worth of trade. Okay, I demonstrated just now to you how fast you can hit that um, requirement for two standard lots. Huh? Okay, now, so... If you want to, let's say, trade one standard lot, all right, you need to come up with 100,000 in your account. Not many people want to part with 100,000, right? Okay. However, let's say, if we apply a leverage of 1 is to 100, what does this mean? It means that if you have $1, you can trade 100,000. It's $100. So do you need to have 100,000 in your account to trade 100,000 if you have a leverage of 1 is to 100? The answer is no. Okay. So in order to trade 100,000 based on this ratio here, you need to have $1,000. Agree? All right. Now, it's beyond imagination for people to say, hey, look, 1,000, I trade 100,000. Isn't this a super huge risk? Okay, so let me just give you one example. If your account is $2,000 in your account, all right, and you go and trade with a leverage huh, of 1 is to 100, a 100,000 worth, then that is dangerous, isn't it? Because you only have 2,000 and you want to trade 100,000. All right? Now, so what if you have 200,000 in your account? Okay? You want to trade 100,000. Then isn't it not a proper use of money? Okay? Isn't this a waste of money? Because then you 200,000, but then are people are giving you a leverage to go and trade it. All right. Okay. So when you use leverage, you must use it properly. So it's a double-edged sword. It's useful, but if you don't use it properly, then it's not. It's not. It's not um something that can help you. Okay. So just so I'm gonna just demonstrate this one for you. All right. When I trade dollar sing, I'm just gonna trade it right now. Okay. So just new order dollar sing. All right. Same thing. I'm gonna trade one. Uh, one lots here, huh? $100,000 worth, right? I'll buy it. Okay. Now, buy. i just show it to you, the effects. Just give me a minute. Huh? Just going to close all to show it to you. Okay. All right. So, you see, when I trade $100,000 worth of dollars in, look at my margin here. I'm using 2,827, okay? That means that I have 2,827 as the money that I need to start off trading 100,000 unit. What am I using? I'm usually using leverage, but my account has 48,000 here, okay? So am I scared of problem happening? The answer is I'm not, okay? All right? So because I have a lot of equity here, but, you know, the money, I can put it to proper use, which also means that, because if I trade, let's say one lot here, I, I need like 2,800, all right, fine. I can, I don't need so much money inside here. So I can take the remaining, let's say 30,000 and put it and invest and put it into fixed deposit. So that's proper use, okay. So let's say, for example, uh, one lot is too much for me, all right. I don't want to trade that much. I want to start with the least amount of trade that I can do. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to trade dollar sing. All right, and I will just put in the least smaller size that I can do, okay, which is 0 0.01, which is $1,000 worth, all right? I just buy the market, and remember, I have 48000 here, right? $1,000 worth, I only need to come up with $28, okay, but I have 48000 inside here. Am I afraid of anything? No, I'm not, but I'm not using proper money because I probably... If I use each time to trade the minimum size, which is actually uh, $1,000 $1, worth, which is one micro, 
I need only $28 as a collateral, as a deposit here. So why, why must I put 48000 here? I don't need. I can just put $2,000 to trade the minimum amount. Okay. All right. So therefore, leverage is a double-edged sword. You are using proper money. So what I do is this, right? I know that I have $50,000 to use for this Forex business. Okay. But I will not put $50,000 in my forex trade in my forex account i'll put twenty thousand dollars okay trade a comfortable size then what do you do with the remaining thirty thousand i'm not going to put it there i will take the thirty thousand put it inside the fixed deposit because fixed deposit i can break it anytime if i get into trouble i transfer the thirty thousand dollars and help my trade okay because i intended to actually use the 30, fifty thousand in total okay and i trade a comfortable size so for ten thousand the lot size that you want to do at most, you can do a total of fifty thousand worth of trade, which is five. Um, uh, that means uh, five mini lots, huh? Something like that. Okay. So there is a ratio that you should manage that. So for two thousand dollar that you have, average, I would think that you'll be comfortable to trade huh, a total of zero point one, which is one mini lot. Let me just show it to you. That means a ten thousand dollars worth for every two thousand dollars that you have in your account. Okay. That means that you do this. And then you buy the market. I know that you get confused because why? All right. Because then you say, hey, look, you are doing about all these things, but you haven't started the course. Okay. So same thing. If I do, let's say um, 0 0.1, which is $10,000 worth, I need $282. Okay. I put $2,000 there as my starting basis. The maximum that I do is 0 0.1 and that's it. Okay. I don't exceed that. All right. And I don't get into trouble. The rest of the money, I keep it. <laughs> Maybe I keep it and watch it in the bank. Okay, so leverage is good and is bad. It's bad when you over trade it, but it's good because then that's free money given to you. All right, okay. Okay, is there a demo account where we can use as a start? Yes, definitely you can do that. Okay, uh, why sell and not buy if you do not have any lot? Um, it's different from the stocks, huh? For for forex, right? Um, we can do buy and sell anytime without owning anything. Okay, for gold as well, for oil as well. Um, if we sell first, we hope that it will come down. Okay, to make money. If you buy first, we hope that it will go up. So we don't need anything to, um, uh, have. You don't own. Don't need to own anything first. Okay. All right. So I hope that I've. I've answer all your question i think the most important part right to this presentation okay number one is that um wash and means okay do we see a wash and means here and can you benefit that okay so that's the most important part i've demonstrated that if you have traded just now the point where i've traded you know where the signal happens you will have actually made quite some money from this trade already okay um in fact that uh, if you look at the signal that we had, right? So this was Euro Aussie. Our signal was here. Okay, this one here. All right. So let me just mark that for you. So Euro Aussie signal was um here. This one at this price. Huh? All right. Um, we can't cheat in a way because then you see Euro Aussie buy. Okay, was seven hours and thirty eight minutes ago. Okay, so that was the Euro Aussie buy here. So it's shown here. So we have Euro Cat also as a buy, Euro Kiwi as a buy. If you're interested, then we can have a look. Okay. All right. So we have the buy here. And then we have the Euro Kiwi buy here. Okay. We'll have the Euro Aussie buy as earlier. And then that's already up like um, 70 pips. 70 pips means that if you traded one standard lot, that's seven hundred dollars. If you traded one mini lot, that's seventy dollars. If you traded one micro lot, which is the less uh, the the least amount, that's um seven dollars. Okay, all right. Okay, so next is the cost refund. Okay, so um if you like to get the cost refund, then please do it because again that. We do not know when the brokers will stop the promotion. So far, we've been lucky. I really think so. 
that the broker's been sponsoring and paying for the course refund, all right? Um, but get it fast so that you can get that $700 back into your account, all right? And see it as um, a no risk deal, okay? Because why? If eventually you don't want, then fine, you get back the $700, you withdraw all the money from your brokerage account. Okay, so that's it but if you like it then you get another one more tool to trade you get another one more method free of charge in a way okay and you have all the tools to help you all right so this is the link here that you can scan and you can um, use or you can use the link which I'm just gonna post it up here um, which which uh, you can scan all right so I'm just gonna just post this up for you Meanwhile, um, do let me know whether you have any questions, then I can answer them since we are here. Yes, you can try the system in a demo account. You can play with the demo account for as long as you want until you are totally very comfortable. All right. But in order to get the system right, you have to pay for the course first. Okay. Um, do sign up before 13 of February because there's a crash course on 15 of February. So this is uh, specially arranged for you guys. All right. I don't usually do this, but uh, whenever there's a promotion with MarketWise Asia, I will just uh, make sure that I do a proper training for their students. So I've, um, I've actually scheduled in the 15th Feb. All right. So once you sign up, as long as you sign up before the 13th Feb, right, um, 2359, on the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day, you would receive this um, Zoom, Zoom meeting for the crash course, all right? The $2,000 is not enough to cover two lot for refund, right? You, you realize why I did just now? I trade one lot at one time. I don't do two lots at one time, okay? So it's not enough. We need one lot at one time um do we need to buy mt4 software no mt4 is actually free um clarify the point two in the current slide the point two uh if you come from market wise asia you would have been given a one month free trial if you do not have please write to us um this is the email here all right then we will send you the trial okay all right uh for refund who to write to um, in a website their information so um, follow the website information there will be relevant um, email to write to okay otherwise you write to us then we will let you know okay different broker different email address um, I'm average Joe how is the learning curve like mm, I would want to put it very bluntly uh, you have one year to learn okay and I think, I think, I think it would, to me, right, it's actually not tough. A lot of people always say that when you start off, there's many things to do. But after you know it, it's actually very easy. Okay. So I think that there's always a difficult part. That's why the crash course will start um, that off easier for you. All right. Um, realistic amount to fund your account. You want the realistic amount, you want to really make money, right? Okay. Uh, I would really think to be realistic, it has to be 5,000. If you want to trade um, like a uh, at least uh, 0 0.1, which is one mini lot, that is about 10,000 worth of trade um, or even to 0 0.2. Okay, so I would think five to 10,000. If you want to put 2,000 only, then you have to stay in the micro lots. Huh? All right. Um, two lots must be done within certain period. Yes, within three months from the last day of promotion. Okay, so the uh, XE promotion, for example, uh, is until March 30th. So three months after March 30th is actually uh, 30th of June. All right, but I've shown you a very simple way to actually fulfill that. Um, for blueberry promotion, I think their promotion is until February. So three months from February. February, So that's around May. Okay. So reasonable time to meet that. But anyway, if you have any reason not to meet that timeline, right? That deadline, right? 
just write to us let us know okay we will just request for you and usually 100 percent you will be um uh agreed then we can extend the deadline not to worry okay um if we sign up first do we need to complete the module two first before 15 of feb it's good that you can sign up now okay and then you can complete module two then when 15 of feb crash course comes in right that will be a revision so you reinforce okay uh, but if you sign on a 13th of Feb 2359 then you won't have time isn't it all right so I don't think there's a there's a, a lot of difference between now versus uh 13th of Feb okay so 13th of Feb is the cut off uh, which currency trade your system is giving by which which currency currently I don't have any um uh, how to say I don't have any uh, alert into euro dollar or buy or sell euro dollar the only one that I've had right which I've shown was into euro Aussie just now so for example this one was not counted this is a demo just gonna close it so let's say for example you see after talking so long under 0 0.1 I lose 4.42 okay four dollar and 42 cents is forex really that dangerous to lose four dollars and forty two cents for forty uh, four dollar and twenty cents no no it's actually a bit slow three dollars seventy seven cents it's not what a lot of people imagine to be okay if they see it as fast that's because they over traded and i only need 282 dollars to get started for stocks i don't think that you can use 282 dollars right so a lot of people missed understood that this one i would really think it's even much safer than uh stocks for example let's say for example you say okay i'm gonna put five thousand dollars inside okay and if i lose five thousand dollars and that's it that's it for me i don't want to do anything more okay so you lose five thousand dollars and then you you trade that but for stocks it's different you don't really buy much with five thousand dollars okay so that's the key difference here right i'm not again i'm not saying you shouldn't be doing stocks i'm just saying that be open-minded to explore more so we had a buy signal all right on euro or zc seven hours ago that means that this was a 2 p.m signal if you have taken that euro aussie here that was the alert you would have actually made the money 61 70 pips already hit into the nicely the resistance and it just closed off okay all right um let me just fresh this one again during the trial period of the system do we need to install vps i don't think you need to yeah but you can use your own desktop as a server we teach that i'm a total newbie and have never traded will there be a community or coach to hold my hand till i'm confident <sighs> let me just ask you one question even you have a community of a uh, coach right to hold your hand till you're confident are they have you really succeeded okay i i i think that many times you need to be motivated yourself okay so i can only say that i'm here every tuesday and thursday for uh, for as long as i can be so i'm one who is holding your hand okay so that's number one number two is that we have a community in telegram we have moderators we have seniors there um you ask the question they will answer but i don't think that it's reasonable to ask questions which are found in our database okay that means in our user guide for example okay things like um alum they ask alum like um why does it split the order that's properly written in the user guide already i, I usually when i look at this question I don't expect the, the moderator or the senior to even answer this question okay because the first thing to do is to read that user guide not for them to answer the question okay so with 700 dollars uh, i would and i'm not charging seven thousand right if i'm charging seven thousand i would have actually a one-to-one -one coach and then i'm take, just take the money and pay half to that senior but that would be a huge strain right for you to get started okay and before you even succeed you are really down by seven thousand dollars so that is something coming from a trader point of view okay very very frank all right 
um, so far, uh, all the people who have been with me for so long, they found that that two sessions of per week, right? It's very, very helpful. But I think that there's still a need to do something. Okay. So if you are new and you're willing to work hard, then I will help you. Okay. So that's something that I can answer. Um, which platform is recommended? Wait. Well, can assisting XCA trader account enjoy the full cash refund? Yes. If you have not taken the $700 from them before. Okay. You can do that, but it must be coming. Your account must be coming from us. They need to know that you are our student. So there are conditions here. Okay. You need to have your account from us because they want to know that it's coming from us. All right. What will I be trading using Tor? Tor is our system. You'll be trading using Tor on FX instrument on Forex. What is the charges for using the leverage interest rate? Um... Yes, interest rate. That means that the interest rate can be uh, uh, positive or negative. For example, uh, you if you are long uh, Aussie yen, so Aussie, uh, sorry, uh, if you are what, um, for example, if you are short Euro Aussie, okay, that means that you sell euro, you buy Aussie, Aussie have a higher interest, Aussie interest is let's say 2%, for example, you sell into euro, and the euro, because you sell, right, you need to pay 1%, so net, you are 1%, so by shorting euro Aussie, you actually make 1% from holding the position, okay, because it's FX, it's like, you know, uh, putting the money inside the FV or account, so uh, the charges, there's no charges for leverage, okay? There's only charges when you uh, trade a certain pair. It doesn't, it doesn't have a financing cost. Uh, let's put it this way. It doesn't have a financing cost, all right? Which platform is recommended, XC or Blueberry? I recommend XC. Any overnight charges for open position? Overnight charges come from uh, what we call the swap. Okay, and that's essentially the cost of holding um, uh, the currency. Okay, but if you're doing, let's say, indexes, then you don't have overnight charges. You don't have financing charges from doing the uh, indexes. You don't have financing charges from doing um, some of the uh, um, CFDs. Okay, um, so this is very different. Okay, remember, you do not pay any interest for the leverage is different business here all right can you uh euro aussie buy signal was there six hours earlier is there any signal open now i think you should answer why wasn't you taking the euro aussie signal six hours ago now don't have now not even 10 o'clock even even that which I'll, I'm going to end the session already. So the six hour ago signal should be taken by you. Can I run the app on Mac OS? Uh, yes, you can. No problem. How many trades do you do on a weekly basis? It really depends. Um, sometimes 10, sometimes 15, sometimes 20. After I pay $700 to fund the account, is there any other fees? Do I have to pay XE or Blueberry? No, there's no other fees. Funding charges can be reimbursed. Funding by pay now, if you are Singap from Singapore, then it's free. Withdrawal to pay now is free. Um, if you fund and then you incur any wire transfer charges, you claim it back from the broker as long as you have the receipt. Okay. Uh, if you incur any extra charges, you let me know. Okay, I get it back from you. Um. How the alerts via Telegram works? Um, the it, I would not say it's alert, right? It's more like to let you know that there's a wash and rinse. So every morning at six a.m., you will see from Telegram as long as long as you subscribe to our channel, you will see that alerts happening. We have to give you the special link to subscribe. Can only claim the seven hundred dollars for a month account either BBM or XE. Um, yes. If Yes, that's all. Okay.
all right okay so i hope that you go and sign for the course don't wait too long because the more that you wait the more trades goes away and that's one thing second thing is that um you know seven hundred dollars since you get fully refunded why not seven hundred dollars sometimes some people can just eat in one meal already but you do get a skill uh, all right and uh, i'm able to charge that um cheap because i don't really earn my money from doing courses right other people charge seven thousand because that's their mainstream of income i don't do this kind of things okay i really hope that you can make money so i make the course cheap all right don't abuse it make it cheap i get the full refund for you all right and then i'm serious when i say we do not know how long this offer will last all right okay uh any other last question before i end the session if you ask me i can tell you 100 very convincing way to say i will help you i will support you nothing beats by saying that you get your cost feedback huh? I can have one to one trainer on you to help you but then if they themselves don't know how to trade and you're gonna get a lot more pay a lot more money from this what's the point all right i think very frank from the trader's point of view okay that you have to have that cost feedback can we attend the webinar if you sign up today you can attend tomorrow yes uh you start as soon as you sign up all right okay so i will see you today okay so i see you tomorrow but tomorrow session you might not find it very useful for you because it's for the seniors we are trading we are talking about trades huh? can i use samsung s22 ultra to open a trade yes you can because it's android uh iphone uh, iOS you can but we need to remote access into your server uh, so that's a bit complicated here so that's why um, those new iPhones are uh, with loaded with MT4 MT5 all selling at very expensive price okay thanks a lot for your time if there's anything please contact us via this email telegram or whatsapp we'll be there to help you okay and I see you in my course remember uh, see you there all right Good night. Bye bye. Thanks a lot, Pauline. Thanks a lot, William. Yeah, we are still here.